Hey guys, Wolf here, and welcome back to my summer car. So today, we're gonna continue to assemble our car, doing things like dropping the engine in, and really just putting everything together. That's all that's really left, besides like, obviously, filling it up with fuel and tuning it, but, well, obviously, that comes later. Yeah. So first things first, we're gonna take a nice uh, morning shower. I think it's morning. Is it morning? Um, that's like, um... It's about five, it's gonna be about five o'clock soon. So, uh, five o'clock in the afternoon, I'm guessing. So that's all right. We will uh, take a quick shower here, and then we're just gonna hop right into the garage and get to it because, well, that's all we need to do. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So, I'll close that door. And so, in the last video, uh, obviously we got fined. For, it was either, I figured out, speeding, which I don't think it was, or the uh, more, um, sadly, uh, correct one. Yeah, uh, I don't really know. The more correct one would be that uh, we were kind of, we had a couple of drinks before getting on the highway. Anyway, uh, we don't mention that. What do we need? We don't need much. We're going to have a bag of chips. Should we have a bag of chips? Well, actually, we're not that hungry and thirsty and stuff yet, so we're just going to leave that for now. Okay, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get into the garage. Who the hell even says dilly-dallying anymore? What the hell is wrong with me? Okay, open the garage door. No, don't get slammed the door in your face. Okay, so because we're like vampires and don't like the light, we'll close these doors and get some uh, artificial light up in here. Yeah. So a couple notes from when we assembled the engine, I noticed that, um, this would actually be pretty bad, we left the, uh, oil pan bolts wide open, so if we went to put oil in, it would just spill all over the floor, so obviously that's not very good. Uh, so yeah, this we need to fix here real quick, as well as, uh, wait, I just want to figure out what size this is going to be. Come on, you. What size? I'm guessing it's going to be bigger, actually. It looks pretty big. Uh, da, 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 da. What's what's it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Huh? Huh? What's it gonna be? I honestly don't know. I should. Every time I watch back the. Ooh! I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. So, what I was just explaining there, though, every time I watch back my videos, uh, especially when we assembled the engine, the one thing that I really was considering that I should have done is gotten, like, printed off a cheat sheet for the bolt sizes. I mean, obviously we made it work, we have our engine together, but, you know, could have been a lot easier. Uh, the other thing was, we also have to adjust the alternator, because if you look here, there's, like, a space. Wait, you can kind of see it right there, you can see the fan belt isn't actually on the alternator, like, snug. So I think this is actually, is it a bolt? No, it's a screwdriver. So what we gotta do is take out the screwdriver, Undo this uh, screw right here, just like that. No, undo the screw, just like that. And then we move this. The question is how, though. I don't really know how we move it. I just know that we do. Hey, there's a bolt undone right here. What? Are these bolts undone? I think these bolts are undone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are they undone? They look undone. What? Hold on a minute. They look undone. These bolts look undone. I'm not just delusional, right guys? Like, they look... These bolts don't look exactly tight to me. Those don't look like very tight bolts. Hmm. What's going on here? Huh? I'm gonna make sure, like, obviously, before we start the car up, like, after we put all the fluids and everything in, we'll do one... F like, final, thorough look throughout the engine and everything to make sure that it's not going to rip itself apart right away. But, well, you know. It might happen, so. What, what the... Why is this not... Let me do these bolts up. Come on, game. Be nice to me. For once, maybe. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is weird. I don't know why these weren't in, but they weren't. We got one there, too. I think, are these for the chain case thing itself? Yeah, they are. Okay. So we just missed those for the timing chain cover. Hmm. I guess that wouldn't have been the end of the world. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, back to the alternator situation, though. We have to figure that out. Um, grab that up. Thing is, I have no clue. Oh, there we go. Whoa. It was, like, moving. So, we just gotta make sure that it's snug right against there. Uh, I think... That should be good. Just like that. Yeah. I don't think you can really over-tighten it, can you? Oh, actually, maybe you can. <laughs> um... I'm gonna say that's good right there. That look good? I think that looks good. Uh, the one indicator... Uh, whoa, okay. The one indicator that I will know if the fan belt, like the alternator isn't tight to the fan belt, is when we start the car, we can look in the engine, and the fan belts will be like wobbling. So, I haven't actually seen it, but that's just like an indicator that I know of. Okay, so that's all that I can really think of, except for this bolt right here. I can't figure this out. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen, but this bolt, it just, it doesn't go in. Like, I don't know why, but this bolt doesn't like me, something stupid like that, and it just doesn't want to go in. Like, it really doesn't. Like, I I'm gonna keep trying here. Hey, finally! Once I stop recording, of course I'm able to find the proper size wrench. Look at that. So this was size, or spanner size, what is that, 9? So this was spanner size 10 for the stupid bolt that never wanted to go in. And, honestly, I wasn't sure if it did go in before we put the engine in the car, or, like, it had to be in the car, and then something would have bolted in there with it. I don't really know what I was thinking, but it's a good thing we did that now, otherwise our whole transmission, or gearbox, or whatever they call it, um, yeah, they call it gearbox, would have fallen out. And we would have, well, not had a, have, have a day. we would have not had a gearbox. Okay. So, next thing to do is, the car actually needs to be straightened out a little bit, I think it's J, to get our mighty arms of steel out here. So, ooh, okay. It's really touchy. So what I want to do is kind of just nudge the car just a, just a little bit, and I'm going to nudge it a little bit forward because we want it kind of towards the, uh, yep, okay, there we go, that should be good. I think that's good. Is this good? That looks pretty, pretty good. I like how that looks. Uh, nudge it a little bit more. Nudge it. Okay, wait. Uh, nudge, nudge. There we go. Okay. So now, we need that to be perfectly aligned because to put the engine in... Let's just grab the whole thing itself here. Uh, whoa, the shadow from the lights there. It's kind of a little wonky. Uh, we need this. This is really finicky. Um, basically, when we lower this in... It needs to uh, line up really nice in here. So, oh gosh, the engine's like hitting the bezel along there. We'll fix that. Uh, so this part is probably the most time-consuming because of the fact that it's it just needs to be aligned perfectly. It's kind of stupid, but we'll we'll get it. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay. So at this point, it's just as I was saying, really finicky. Got to lower it right down all the way. And then once we find its happy place, or happy position, my question is, I hope we don't put this in the wrong way. Is there a wrong way, really? I don't know. We'll figure it out right away. I don't think there is. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think there's a... No, there is a wrong way to put this in. Yeah, but I know it's right because the spark plugs, which we don't have because game updates and we'll have to buy more, um, they face the front and the carburetor faces the back, so never mind. This should be the right way. Uh, so basically, we just gotta gotta kind of watch this as it lowers down and adjust it from there. Apologies about my English, but uh, expect no more, no less from the channel here at Wolf Wolf Industries Wolf Wolf Channel. You know what? You know what I mean. My English is always off. Okay, so what are we working with down here? Um. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, for the half shafts, they gotta go right to the gearbox here on each side. So, what we gotta do is move it back a bit and down a bit. Wait, I lost it. Yeah, down a couple more notches and back a bit. And this is what I mean about it being all touchy and kind of exact. But once we get this in, then it gets way, way easier. Okay, so, just kind of want to back it up a little bit, lower it down a bit more. Um, uh, just like so, so we'll see how that is, and, oh, I could actually bring the toolkit down here with me as well, 
Whoa! That's basically like spot on. Holy crap. Okay, so we'll lower it down another notch and then move it the slightest bit and it should be good. Yeah, let me out. Let, let me out. There we go. Wait. Why am I going so painfully slow? Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so we're going to... What do we say? Lower this down one more notch. There we go. And move it the slightest bit. There. That should be good. Whoa, don't make those sounds. Pick up the toolbox and bring it down with us because I have no clue what size this thing's going to be. Uh, let's get a better angle on this. There we go. Okay, so we'll throw this uh, just right, right down here. Why not? Okay. Now then, yeah, there we go. Nope, wrong way. I moved it the wrong way. Got to move it back a little bit. I still haven't remapped a sprint key which I probably should do at some point. I just haven't. There we go. Um, it'll be a lot better, obviously, if I do that, but we, you, you know, I'm, I'm kind of lazy. Okay, there. Now that's pretty pretty aligned. So the first bolt we want to do is this one right here. Uh, get into tool mode. I have no clue what size this bolt is even going to be. I'm guessing a bit bigger, so let's try that. Bigger and go smaller. This is actually a pretty good system. You just look up, crouch down, grab another one, look up, uh, crouch down, grab another one, and just go through all the wrenches until we get the right one. Uh, there we go. So put that in, and it just pops itself into place. Perfect. So hopefully, so there's one there and two up front here. So those points are right here. Just like that, and uh, right there. Okay, so there we go. The engine is now mounted. What we could do is connect the half shafts now. Uh, I'm guessing those are going to be a bit smaller. So keep going through these wrench sizes. Hey, hey, there we go. Second try. Nice. Uh, I'm hoping there's only the three per half shaft here. I think that's all it was. So we got, or was it four? Oh, we got that, we got that. I think it was only the three. And then I think we're safe. Got that. And we'll screw that in. There should be one right up here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, when I was watching back the video and I seen that we didn't put the uh, plug or the bolt in for the oil pan, I was like, oh gosh. Don't forget about that one. Like, I literally scribbled down a notes on uh, paper right in front of me. And I'm like, uh, all capital letters, don't forget about the oil pan bolts. So, yeah. I, uh, well, I mean, it would be a whole waste of oil. It would just pour out all over the ground, and it would just be terrible. Okay. So there we go. Now all that's left, we'll bring the toolkit back up with us. Because what we need to do next is remove the engine hoist. Because obviously we don't need that anymore. The engine's mounted into the car. Man, that sounds awesome. Hey, look at that. There we go. Just gonna take a drink here. Ugh, mouth is drier than the fucking Sahara Desert. Okay, next thing to do. See, I really should start memorizing these wrench sizes, but it's just not gonna work out like that. Hey, did we just get it first time? There we go. See, I know what I'm doing, guys. Don't worry. I'm professional at this. Totally uh, trained and certified to be a car mechanic. Yep, that's me. <gasps> I think it's free. I is it free? Yeah. Okay, let's get this out of the way for now. This can probably just sit on over here. Let's throw you out of the way for now, because we do not need you. Engine hoist, you served us well, even though you frustrated the crap out of us at first. So we figured you out. It helped a lot. This is actually a very big milestone right here, all in itself, guys. Got the engine mounted in the car. Ooh. See, this is the satisfaction of this game right here. It's just it's such a good feeling. Okay, next thing to do is the battery, so we'll throw this in. Uh, right now, actually, there's no specific way to do this. You just start adding stuff to the car. There we go. Uh, unless the game updates changed anything, I don't believe there's any way to, like, uh... Whoa, don't... Whoa. Oh, okay. 
just smash your head through the ceiling and then glitch through the car. D do that. Frame rate, are you okay? <laughs> uh, what I want to do though, push it forward a wee bit. I want to get it out of the pits. So I can actually stand in front of it and work here. There we go. Okay, so from what I remember, you don't actually mount this in. It just kind of straps itself in. From what I remember, hopefully. You know what? It's fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. So, next thing is we can throw in the electrics. Actually, do we want to do that? No, we want to wait till we get our spark plugs. So, wait for that. Let's see. Hmm. We have so many options now. So many options indeed. We could do is we could throw on a grill. Yeah, we got the Satsuma grill. I think that's what that says. Yeah, Satsuma. It's a very uh, famous car brand around here. I mean, Satsuma in this game is basically like Audi or Ferrari or some sort of uh, really expensive car brand. So this one's going to take. Obviously, not that size bolt. Only get lucky once in a while with this, guys. <laughs> As you know. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just go through these. It looks a bit smaller. Doesn't this look smaller? I think it looks smaller. Hmm. Ooh, you know one thing I didn't do? Uh, before I save and quit out of the game last time, like after we got back from doing our sewage jobs and delivering the letter, like the parts form, I got home and I said goodbye to you guys. Um, I quickly unplugged the phone, so when I went to rest, or wait, did I rest last time? I don't know. Just when I wasn't recording, I unplugged the phone, so we're gonna go ahead and plug that back in. So we can answer it periodically when we, uh, when we open the doors. There we go. Uh, sun's gonna be going down here soon. It's around supper time, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, wow, it's even past supper time. It's like, gonna be 8.30 soon. It's like 16 minutes after 8, something like that. Yeah, let's plug the phone back in. That's what I want to do. Awesome. Okay, and then we'll go hide back in our garage. There we go. So, what were we doing then? We were attaching the grill. Yes. Uh, I think it's only those two bolts. Could be wrong. But you know, it's attached. So. There we go. Okay, so we can also go ahead and throw on these bumpers. So this is the bumper front. Sounds good. Ugh, excuse me, I just kind of had a silent belch. That was weird. What? Physics! Dude, this is like the equivalent of a water bottle flip. I know that's cringy, but like, look at this! What the... Physics, man. Physics. Look at this. Can we push this over? No, we can't. This is like... This is great. <laughs> uh, physics simulator. Or, my physics simulator. Not my summer car. My physics simulator. Okay. My summer physics. Hey, that's a better one. I, I, I don't want to move this. It's so majestic. Look at this. I want to take a screenshot of this. Wait. Uh, oh, did I just... No, I... I got rid of my frame rate counter. That was weird. Okay, no, stop, stop moving. Wait, wait, hold on. I literally just got rid of it. Uh. Okay, you know what? Um, no screenshot. I, I have it on video. You guys have seen it. There's proof. There's proof of it. Don't worry. Okay, so this obviously just sticks right on to here. Wait, I had it there. Okay, so... Hmm. Size bolts do you guys think this is going to be now? I can't even see where the bloody bolts are. Uh, can we lean? Whoa, frame rate. Please fix yourself. Okay, we're gonna get a, just go smallest to biggest on this and see if we can find out where these bolts are. <laughs> find out where the bolts are. Oh, wait, did we get one? Yeah, there we go. There should be two of these, if I'm not mistaken. Just like that. There's another one. Is there another one? There should be another one. Um, uh, you got one. Is there just one? I swear there was two. Am I just delusional? No, there's got to be two. Wait, one. Whoa. Okay, calm down. Uh, is there? Wait, 
I can see more from up here. Uh... Nope, there's there's just the one. There's just the one, guys. Wait, let's see if I can move over a bit. Come on. Yep, there's just one. Okay, one for the front bumper uh, on each side, obviously. Just gotta find this other one. There we go. So see, this part is really satisfying because instead of the engine, well, the engine itself is satisfying to build, but uh, putting the actual car together, that's, uh, you can see bit by bit. You can see it coming together, so I'm hoping um, that the game would have a bit of sense in making sure the bolts are the same size for this. Um, please let that be a thing because I don't want to go through my stupid toolkit just for that. Let's see. Uh, is it the same? Where are the bolts? Right there. Yeah, thank you, game developer. You are awesome. Okay, so, yeah. So you can get a way better view of it from down here. Uh, one there. One over here. Honestly, I guess it's not the most terrible thing if our bumper falls off, but... You know, kind of better if it doesn't. So... Next thing, um, what do we want to throw on? I'm honestly not expecting to get everything on the car put together in this video, but we're gonna come close. Yeah, we're gonna come real close. So, next thing to do is we can... Hmm, what do we want to throw on? Ooh, what we could throw on is the hubcaps. I know you usually leave that till later, but it's just one thing out of the way. So we got the front left, or wait, no, rear left, rear left. So that's over here. I don't think this takes any bolts or anything, they just kind of pop on here. Um, wait, rear, left. Am I just dumb? Hubcap, rear, left. Why do you not want to go on? Hubcap, please. Am I just... Well, uh, why? Why don't you want to go on? Hub hubcap, don't, don't do this to me. Maybe we do have to wait a bit, like, honestly. Hmm. That's a bit strange, but... Okay. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. It just doesn't want to go on. Uh, so we'll throw that there. What next? What next? We can throw in the Clutch Master Cylinder. Mm, this goes right over here. Uh, just had it there. Yep, right. 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 There. Okay, so this takes a couple bolts. Bring our toolkit over here. This toolkit is like our best friend. Uh, like, actually though. Uh, I want to get up on the cart into the engine. Uh, does this take... Really? Really? Fine, we'll push you ahead a little bit. See if I care. There we go. Shouldn't fall into the engine bay now. Okay, now then. What I was just saying, so there's two, no, get up on here, okay, perch ourselves right here, hey, look at that, pulled out the wrench, and it was just ready to go, just like that, okay, there should be one underneath it, oh, I think we just had it there, did we, there's one, don't fall into the engine, I just want to get the other one, let me get it, let me get it, don't do this, don't do this, there it is, as I said in the couple past videos, I don't remember when, but I said it before. If we couldn't clip through things in this game, it would be so much harder to build the engine. Like, obviously it looks a little bit derpy. Whoa, frame rate, calm down. It looks a little bit derpy, but it, it, it helps a lot. Okay. I can't remember if there's anything to connect with that. Ooh, yes, there is. Look at that. Uh, we got the bolts in the cab here that needs to be connected as well. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a different size, maybe? Yep. Can we grab the toolbox and just bring it right on in here? Yes, we can. Very nice. Okay. Well, what's it going to be this time? What's the size? Hey, hey, first time again. We're getting good at this, I guess. Uh, so we got the clutch in there. Now, the next thing is the brake master cylinder, which should be over, 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 over... I just seen it. There it is. Brake master cylinder. So that goes in. Oh, we'll get this at a bitter, bitter angle. Yep. This is this is a bitter part. It's, it's all all bitter and stuff. 
get this at a better angle. If my English could work for once in a video. Uh, whoa. Okay, let's get down. Uh, come on, closer. Uh, it's oh, frame rates. Jeez. Um, I'm honestly thinking it's because of the game, like all the entities of the engine parts, because there's just so many that the game just kind of sometimes lags itself out. Uh, is there a bolt in here? I think there is as well for the brake, if we can get down here. Yeah, there's one right there. Is it going to be the same size? Is it? Yeah, nice. So, bolt that in all the way. Uh, come on, you. All the way. Whoa, did you guys see that flash? I think that was lightning from the outside. Weird. Okay, we'll just leave that to do its own thing. Uh, then there's bolts in here as well, obviously in the engine bay. Well, no, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. We'll throw this right there. What's it gonna be for these ones now? Hmm. Uh, okay, let's stand up, please. Yep, there we go. Uh, I honestly can't remember it was like what it was for this. Side face, side face, side face. Uh, is it gonna be that one? I don't want to skip over it. That would be bad. This one? Nope. No, oh, nope. That's probably too big. We'll try this one. Nope. Try one bigger. Nope. I think we skipped it. We probably did this one. No. Hmm, this one. No. It's got to be on the smaller end. I know that. Um, this one. Ah, wait. Ah, what did I just have there? There we go. So, two for this one also. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. Just hold on. I want to get this other one. It's right over here. Oh, nope. Fell in the engine bay. Of course. Okay, well, we might... Yeah. Wow, this could have been way easier from underneath. Oh, I'm just dumb. Okay. Ah. All thirsty and shit. Uh, so what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna explain to you guys. Where are the bottles? Ooh, maybe we have to actually buy some. Hmm. I don't know where... I think we actually have to buy some. Urgh, open the door. Yeah, actually, it looks like we're gonna have to go into town when we get our spark plugs and buy some. What I was tr gonna show you guys is where the, um, there's some yellow bottles, and together they're the clutch and brake fluids. So, we'll have to fill those up, obviously, or we won't be able to, uh, shift through gears, and we won't be able to brake, which we kinda need. We need brakes. Um, so, anyway, okay. Got that out of the way. Now then, uh, what do we want to do next? We could throw the dashboard together. Yeah, let's do that. The dashboard is pretty awesome. So we have a little bit of option here. As you can see, we have our engine temperature, fuel level, speed, and in this space right here, we have a bit of option. So we can either have a clock gauge or our tachometer or RPM gauge. So for this, I'm just gonna go with RPM gauge and I might switch it out at a later time, but for now, we're gonna go with this. So, plop that right in there. This takes a couple bolts as well. So, can we flip this over real quick? Yeah, look at that bezel. Damn. Nice dashboard uh, bezel meter thing going on. Uh, what do we need for this one? Well, let's try this one that we got in our hand. Why not? Nope. Of course, it's not gonna be that. Hey, there we go. Um, second try, right? Yeah, because we tried the wrench that we had, but didn't work. So this is our second attempt. And, uh, got it on the second wrench that we used. Yeah, that, that's how we explained it. There we go. So now we can flip this over again. Just, and throw this in the car itself. I don't think anything else needs to go behind here for now. Um, it's probably going to be a bit touchy. So let's see if I can get this. Uh, come on, you get on there. Get on there. Get on. Get on there. Get on there. I know you want it. Come on. Oh, duh. We need the dashboard itself first. Oops. Okay, so we'll hop into the car. 
Come on. Uh, and throw that. Really? You bastard. Come on. Had it then. Had it then. Aha. So this, I think, is only the two bolts. Can we open the glove compartment? Rip. <laughs> yeah, if you look here and there, you can see there's two bolts that we're going to have to put together. So, bring our handy dander. Handy dander. Yep, handy dander. Handy damsel. Anyway. Handy doorknob. Okay, we're, we're going to grab our handy dandy spanner kit. See what bolt size this is going to be. Obviously, still on the smaller end of things. Um, here we go. Hmm. A bit larger. Come on, you. A bit larger? No, that's too large. Wait. This one. Yeah, there we go. So, throw that one in. There's a loud vehicle going by. Don't know if you people can hear that. And another bolt. Hey, look at this. We got the glove compartment. Very nice. Uh, I believe. I've seen it in the game updates, and I actually took note of it. Apparently, things that you put in the glove box wouldn't, like, save in there. They'd, like, move or something. I don't even really know. But in the game updates, like on the forums, it said that things actually stay in there now. So, whatever that means. How do we close this? I want to close... There we go. Okay. Dashboard is in place. Um, I don't know if there's anything we need to do with the parking brake. Oh, that's the hood lock. I see. Okay. So now we can throw the dashboard on. I remembered, like, when I was trying to figure this out. Get out of the ceiling, Jesus. Okay. I remembered when I was trying to figure this out. It, I was like along here and I'm like these dashboard meters are a little small to fill this whole space so oh I'm moving the car okay. there we go hey look at this we got some interior coming together as well is there any bolts for this um I think there is is that a bolt I don't even know can we like remove this yeah we can so there's totally gonna be a bolt to go with this hmm question is where oh gosh is it gonna be there I don't even know where all these bolts go along really oh there's one nope that's for the dashboard itself uh oh wait these no that bolt is for the gauge so I hope it just stays there whenever I'm like questioning things like this if there's actually gonna be uh, bolts or not for something I'll just go and look it up in between videos and then I'll do what I did this video like with the oil pan and the alternator and I'll be like oh gosh we missed bolts and it's gonna kill us if we don't fix it so yeah I'll just, I'll just do that so next thing we can do though is the parking brake which is right right here yes very good so this obviously goes in the car doesn't go on top of the car or in the trunk or something stupid like that. That goes right in here. Wait, right, right, right. Uh, let's lean over a bit. Right there. There we go. So we'll put this in with some bolts. Um, what size is a better question. There we go. See, it's already prompting us to get into driving mode. Like, I wish. I'm so tempted to. But it's not like we'd be going very far quite yet. I mean, we don't even have the freaking shifter in. So, apologies. I can feel the frames are lagging a bit here and there as well. It's not just YouTube or your guys' computers or screens or whatever. It is, in fact, me. And as I said, I think it's because of all the entities that go into this car. Like, all the parts. The game's just like, nah, bro. We're gonna... Gotta cut back on your frames every now and then. So yeah, there's bolts that are like right here. Uh, I believe we actually do have to put those in. Here, let me just grab a wrench real quick. It looks really small. Uh, see here. What is it gonna go? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Okay. Uh, I th it looks really small. I don't know if you guys could see that very well, but... Uh, I know that we do have to attach it. It can't just, like, attach itself. At least I don't think. I could be wrong on that. But it didn't really look like it. Um, unless it does. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, grab this next size up. Spanner size 7. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it does just put itself in. 
into place there. Does it? I, I think it does. I really, really think it does. Well, we'll find out when we go to put the parking brake on and see if it works or not. So, um, yeah, it can't be this big. Okay, so how about we try actually pulling the parking brake and see if that works. Uh, get down to the car. Yep. Uh, get rid of the wrench. Okay. So now it's on. And I I'm just going to say it works. <laughs> like... Oh, wait, there might be a cable, like, dead center that we need to put together here. Oh, this is really dark. Just wait. I'm going to grab the flashlight from the truck. Hold on. Oh, great. It's all dark out. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I know you guys can't see much. Bear with me for a second. I can barely see myself. Uh, flashlight. Flashlight. Where are you, flashlight? Flashlight. No. Flashlight. Where are you? Flashlight. Come on. Uh, flashlight, come on, come on, man, don't play this, don't play this, flashlight. Oh, found it, okay, wait, come here, flashlight, we need you, come here, I need your greatness, come here, I need you in my life, flashlight, give, there we go, okay, so we'll take this into the garage with us, it is really dark out, look at this, close up the truck there. Okay, so what we're going to do is kind of angle this upwards so we can see the underneath of the car. Ugh, close the door. Jeez. Okay. Uh, there we go. So I think if I am correct that we can actually do that. We can angle it just like this so it points upwards. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So is there a bolt underneath here that we need to do up? I don't think so. Unless. Oh, no, there is. Look at that. Can't miss that. Okay, so uh, we got our spanner kit down here. So I'll move this over a bit. Ooh, ooh, get off the flashlight. There we go. So this one looks smaller. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now our parking brake will work and we won't uh, have our car roll into the lake or when we need our parking brake to engage, we won't die in a fiery fireball of death and despair. So there we go. Awesome. The car is coming together. Yes. Very nice. But I think I'm probably going to call it quits right about here, guys. Tell you the truth. Um, it's coming together really nicely. I like it so far. But we are pretty thir- Whoa. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, we open the door. Uh-oh. It's really dark. Uh-oh. That was a bad idea. Uh-oh. Wait. That was a very bad idea. Jesus. Let me grab the flashlight. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why I turned those lights off. This game gets so dark. Like, when it gets dark, it gets really dark. Okay, let's turn that on. There we go. And I won't get completely lost. Bloody heck. Okay. Throw this back under there. Uh, yeah, close enough. Okay. So, yeah, I want to leave that in here because, as you can see, it got really dark. And let's close that up. I think that's closed. It better be. If somebody robs us, I'm going to be right ticked off. Okay, awesome. So, we're really thirsty and really hungry. We'll fix that real quick. Just like so. I have some sausages. There we go. Oh, uh, we're stressed as all hell. So, we'll grab some beer. Yeah, we're gonna have to go grocery shopping. We're gonna have to... I'll make a list, guys. Don't worry. I'll make a list of all the stuff we're gonna need to get when, when we go to town. I know spark plugs. I know we're gonna need some of those fluids. Uh, clutch fluid and brake fluid, all that kind of fun stuff. And we're gonna need more groceries, because we need beer. Because beer's good. Gets rid of our thirst and makes our stress go down a wee bit. Uh, we'll drink the rest of this off with water. And we'll pop out a cigarette, just like so. See, I have Olympian swimmer lungs, so I can just take an entire drag off this cigarette like it's nothing. Like, look at this. Still going. Still going. And... 
Yeah. Look at this shit. Oh, also, I found out. Look at this note. Don't be lazy. Fix your dad's old car. Uh, uncle's blue van can be loaned. Don't drink alcohol. Um, that's not there. And we will come back when we get bored. Yours, mom and dad. Yours truly, mom and dad. So we'll come back when we get bored. So I'm guessing they just never get bored. Like, they went to Mexico or the Bahamas or something. And they're just never coming back. Like, this uh, summer break... This summer is just going to last forever, and we, we're just here. Okay, so... Turn off this light. Actually, no, I want to turn off this light instead. Because... Uh, yeah, because I can. We'll go ahead and quickly use the washroom. Take a quick wee. And in the next video, obviously, we're going to keep working on the car. We haven't even gotten any more calls for more jobs, so that kind of sucks, but... Oh well, um... Before we finish off the car, obviously we'll need to make one more trip into town, and hopefully our parcels will be here. That's another reason why I want to leave the phone plugged in, because then um, Timo will call us and be like, Yo, your stuff is here. So, close that up. The phone is plugged in, want to make sure of that, and we'll leave a light on, just because. So, Actually, we'll leave our bedroom light on. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that instead. This light doesn't need to be on. It'll be the smarter decision I have learned from my past mistakes. So yeah, in the next video, we'll continue building our summer car. So, I am so tired, I could fall asleep against a wall or something. So I'm going to end it off here, guys. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Goodbye.